It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here, which is Dark Mind's debut album, Symptomatic of a Greater Ill. This is going to be another episode of my Slept On Shit series SOS series I want to shout out my man um, Timeless Beats I know he wanted this I want to shout out Immobilarity 1 I know y'all two really love this fucking series so this one's dedicated to you so um, I told y'all my last one which was a couple months ago that I was going to Queens on the uh on the next episode and here we are this is a duo from queens which um consists of mc kev rock and uh the, the dj slash producer x-ray and uh they came out with this fucking album this was recorded in between 94 and 95 i believe and they were signed to loud records but nothing ever materialized the album never came out for, excuse me, whatever reasons. And um, Anticon was uh, so fucking fortunate. Anticon is a uh, record label, underground record label. They do more, uh, I would call it progressive underground hip hop, you know, and experimental hip hop. But uh, Anticon, the, the, the motherfuckers at Anticon picked this up, somehow got the rights to it and uh, released this album, which, um, you know, in their whole, if you follow Anticon, this kind of sticks out um, when it comes to their library of music. But, um, yeah, reason this is slept on shit, you know, I've seen and heard other people call this a fucking underground classic, a gem, and um, it, it's, it's, when you listen to it, you can you can understand why again this came out in the heyday of loud records loud records y'all know um housed acts like wu-tang clan mob deep uh mop in their early stages of their careers um this fucking if you listen to this this stood out you know out of, you know, from all them artists. I mean, all them artists uh, have their own styles in their own right, but this was like, if, if this came out in 94, 95, when it was supposed to, I, um, I think it would have definitely uh, uh, been up there with, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, your organized confusions or your sapphires, you know, uh, people or artists that were sort of outside the box. I mean, it's still relevant till today. This is something that will blow your mind when you listen to it. Um, let me get into, you know, why it's so special. Uh, the, the, the producer, X-Ray, or DJ, or, I mean, DJ and producer X-Ray, his beats are, are, are great. Definitely, uh, something that you would hear on the old uh, Stretch and Bobbito shows uh, something like that that's not super radio friendly for today at least anyway this would have gotten some play back in 94-95 uh, because you know you had Mob Deep that was getting airplayed which were on loud records and all those artists that I that I um, mentioned before but um, this I could have I could picture this getting some airplay back in the day um, maybe not major like a Mob Deep because they were they were blowing up or a Wu Tang, but it would it would have gotten some airplay. Maybe they may have had one or two videos. 
Um, MC Kev Rock, great MC, uh, very unique, uh, deep voice. Uh, definitely reminds me of my man from uh, Jurassic Five, uh, Charlie Tuna. He he reminds me of him uh, with his 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 uh, vocal tone and also well he. It, with his lyrical content, he uses a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, a, a technical references, scientific references sometimes. Um, he, I think he's a little bit more technical than Charlie Tuna, um, but that's just me. Uh, on this album here, excuse me, <clears throat> you have a great tracks like uh, Night at the Round Table uh, is a track that stands out from the rest of them because you could you could see him it's obviously uh, a track where he wanted to display a faster flow on there uh and and um you could actually kind of hear the differences in in the time frame when he recorded when they recorded that track in comparison to the other tracks um covert op is a track where he's uh using a lot of spy references in his bars uh, to talk about how ill he is and how ill, you know, rap is. You know, that, that you know, the whole rapidy rap shit. Um, Beautiful Man of Color, B-M-O-C, that, that should go without saying. And, um, you know, uh, just check this shit out, man. I, I don't know what else to fucking tell you. Um, these guys have somewhat been active. They released, I think, uh, an EP called Bipolar and they have uh, another one called Anti-Diluvian I, I believe it is but I don't know where to physically get them and I don't know usually sometimes when they say EP it could be only vinyl y'all know I want this I want the physical shit or you know uh, maybe a, a digital I could deal with because I'll just throw it on my iPod or whatever but um yeah slept on shit dude Dark Mind symptomatic of a greater ill i'm fucking proud to own this shit go out and fucking find yourself a copy of this shit it's on ebay i've seen it it's not expensive so go out get yourself a copy of this bitch and um that's it all right everybody else y'all know the deal leave your love leave your hate most of all subscribe and um like i said that's it peace bitches